continuing story of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie, Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi, Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington, Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson, Tim O'Connor as Elliot Carson, Christopher Connolly as Norman Harrington, Patricia Morrow as Rita Harrington, James Douglas as Stephen Cord. Founders Festival is underway. For most residents of this small New England town, like Stephen Cord, today is a day of celebration of putting aside one's troubles. But there are others who will see the festival as an ironic comment on their own lives. Say hello. <laughs> David. Uh, hello, Steve. I expected you to have at least two Cupid dolls and a licorice whip for now. Time, time, Rome wasn't built in a day or something like that. <laughs> I remember when my biggest thrill was the ride on a Ferris wheel. I went round and round. I say, I better look around Connie. I'm expecting some books. Yeah, let's all go over there. I think she can use lots of conversation today. I'll see you later. Oh, well, Stephen, no. The business as usual. No, I'll, I'll see you later. No, but uh, your books came in. I should have called them. There's no problem. They're right here. Here, yeah, have them open. I'll bid you. Okay, sir. You know, there's no law that says you have to stay open. I suggested it because I thought it might be best that you keep busy, you know, to help. You're right. It it does help. That's all it does, is help. I just can't believe this at all, you know, this incredible timing. The Founders Festival, everybody running around out there, yelling and jumping and having a wee of a time just outside the door. And inside here, my wife was crying. That darn noise outside and the band playing, it's like the whole world was laughing. Why couldn't it have been tomorrow and next week instead of today, the day when Jill comes to take the baby? Connie, maybe you'd better just go home. Oh, no, no, well, maybe we could join him, huh? Hmm? Dad? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll take care of the baby. What do you say? Yes? The man from the Mets. Get out. I'm here by court order, remember? Well, nobody said you had to come here. Nobody said I couldn't. Hey, 
Hey, changing things around a little bit, huh? Well, I think maybe we should change some things around, too. Like back the way they used to be. I mean, after all, the door's open, the chain's hanging down. It's just like you're ready to say hello. Are you going to leave or am I going to have to call someone to throw you out? <laughs> Look, just relax, baby. The door's open. I got my shirt on, not that it has to stay that way. I don't have to take this, Joe. No, but you got to take this, don't you? Right? Because Kelly's coming home. I don't want your money. You want the kid? Take the money. I mean, that's what the judge said. I mean, how did he put it? He said, young lady, you should realize the leniency that this court used in giving you the child. And you should be fully aware of the temporary nature of this decision. Look, you got to show that old man that you can cut it. And I mean, he seemed pretty sure that you couldn't do it alone. I heard what he said, Joe. He said a lot of things that weren't pretty. But he said the most important thing is, is I get a second chance. But what about me? 20 bucks a week. I mean, that entitles me to something. It's called child support. That's what it's called. And that's all it means. Yeah? What's well, there? One week early. Why don't you count it? I just want you to leave. All right, you make a receipt, and I'll go. Hey, listen. Come on. This just doesn't make any sense. Every time we get together, we're always blowing off at each other, always giving each other a hard time. You said you'd go. I will. You got your receipt. Look, I didn't come for this. Look, this doesn't make any sense. You need me. Never. You need my money. And I need you the way I used to. You understand? Do you understand? That's better. There's no reason why we can't make out some arrangement like other people do. Right? Come on. Man, that's dumb. I mean, a girl in your position shouldn't treat a man like that. You're not a man, Joe. You're an animal. If that really turned you off, Kelly wouldn't be here. You're a twisted excuse for a human being who doesn't care about anything. Look, you can do all the yelling you want. But every time you pay the rent or the grocer or the man that makes up Kelly's medicine, you just think about the money and who's laying it out. You think about whose sweat is out there on that loading dock working for you so that you can have our kid with you. Leave me alone. Sure. They say an investment doesn't pay off up front. But I expect this one to. One day real soon. the log sawing contest by four hours and 17 minutes. I needed a cheering section. Oh, I just want to get this finished. You sure uh, right on the Ferris wheel wouldn't be more fun? You know what? I bet you'd be pretty good at the shooting gun. Let's go over and give it a try. I'll be down in a minute. Rita, I thought we settled this last night. I thought that's why we stayed up until 2 o'clock this morning discussing it from every angle. We did. And what did we decide? Dad's leaving was for the best. For everyone? For everyone. Then why are you hiding up here? Well, I just don't feel like... What, celebrating? Just because I understand doesn't mean I don't feel a little bit sad. Nobody says you should. You know, I just had him for such a short time, really. I know. Father, you have a right to miss him. I'll get over it. Now you're making me feel guilty. Why should you feel guilty? Because I'm glad it's over with. Because I'm happy. That Dad's gone? Well, no, that we're back to normal. Almost. And if it took Eddie Jack's disappearing act to do it, well, then I'm glad he's gone. Well, it's your turn. I don't know what you want me to say. The truth. Look, you're anything but happy. You're wishing he was here to stay. Well, it's just, mm, 
There were a lot of things I wanted to say to him, that's all. Okay. There's only one thing left to do, and that is go find him. Norman, no. Yes, Norman. I'll go over and check it out White River. Look at all the bars. He's probably got a job in there somewhere. That's not going to solve anything. Well, it just might brighten up your whole day. Norman, are you all right? Yeah. Rita, you can't have it both ways. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You can't have it both ways. You can't say it's best that he's gone and then wish that he was here at the same time. Well, he did it for us so we wouldn't be at each other all the time fighting over him. Look at us now. In all his life, he's come up with the easy answer, except this once. We'd be cheating him if we didn't play it his way. Still need that cheering section? Don't I always? Be careful. 